my friends, family, neighbors, all wanted it. And every time they saw me, it was like my face equals ice cream. Like they see me and they're like, where's the ice cream? It's like, okay, hi, like, it's me, Hannah. <laughs> like, it's like, no, but you're like the ice cream girl. Hi, my name is Hannah Bay, and I'm the founder and Nuna of Nuna's Ice Cream based in Brooklyn, New York. Well, Nuna's makes Asian American ice cream flavors. We're trailblazing Asian American ice cream as an actual category in the most delicious, the most sustainable way possible. There's tons of Asian Americans in, in, in this country, so they're all wanting their flavors and um, the flavors that they grew up with, you know, on the shelves. Uh, around 2014, yeah, it was mostly just what you would normally see in, um, in mainstream supermarkets, your local grocery store. It's um, American flavors. There's local artisanal ice cream makers making great things, um, but they're not the flavors that I wanted and was craving. So I just started making ice cream at home like all the time and it just became like this obsession. <laughs> Yeah, when I started Nunez in 2016, I launched with three flavors, actually. Our toasted rice, black sesame, turmeric honeycomb, and then I brought in our matcha green tea, our yuzu blossom, and then our taro that I'm obsessed with right now and my family is obsessed with. Everything's, you know, made in New York City here. I'm just growing my business in a way that works for me and makes sure that Nunez still exists in like 10 years. And I'm still here, like we're, we just turned five. So it's a big year for us. So Nuna means big sister in Korean. Males use it as a term of endearment um, to refer to uh, an older female that is in their lives, that they respect, that they admire. I love being a Nuna. I mean, I, I named the company Nunas because I was thinking of a word that would evoke joy. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things, being a Nuna. Are you a good older sister? Um, am I a good Nuna? I, <laughs> I hope so. I literally don't. Let me see how you like. Yeah, my parents were born in South Korea. This is this is my dad. This is our aunt, grandma, and grandpa. Hi, I'm Jonathan. I'm Hannah's younger brother. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Hannah's older brother. To uh, use ice cream to incorporate our culture. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's awesome for the community, it's awesome for us, it's awesome for the world. <laughs> I was just thinking about my family. I wanted something that when they eat it, they're like, oh, like, like, okay, I see like you missed me. Like, I see like you, you're thinking of me. Yeah, she is a good Nuna, for sure. In Korean culture, I think the most important thing is that they feed you. Me and Jonathan. When I was, when I was younger, she used to like take care of me and stuff. And so, for the longest time, I, I didn't I didn't know they had names, to be honest. <laughs> so, so I would call, like, Hannah Nuna, like, exclusively. That's all I would say. As an Asian American, my style of making ice cream and how I make the flavors, like, our recipes are just different. If someone else made, like, a Targona coffee ice cream, how are they going to make it? Like, it's not going to be the way that we make it. Targona is like Korean style honeycomb candy. It's a little darker and I think that's unique for our company. Our special flavors are our Targona coffee ice cream, our toasty mochi, and then we have our Makgeolli Blues ice cream. Yeah, Makgeolli is a unfiltered Korean rice beer. A lot of these flavors, it's, it's like I develop it because I have a, a, a very strong connection 
with a lot of the ingredients. So I'm a self-taught baker and I've always been baking my whole entire life in Korean culture. Uh, the desserts are like rice cake and there's not much baking involved or it's very different from American. Uh, desserts and treats, sweet treats. <laughs> yeah, so today we're um, we're gonna show uh, how to make honeycomb. The the darker, a little more burnt uh, honeycomb that we make for it brings a more complex, more rich flavor to the ice cream. I have tried the turmeric honeycomb and it is so good. I basically grew up um, being the baker of the family. My mom, you know, she just, she just was like, this is, you, you can do it. Like, <laughs> um, because my father has a really big sweet tooth and he loves like the pound cake, the Ensimans, like that's what we grew up with. He loves American sweets. Um, and that's kind of like where, you know, that comes from. Um, my love for, for sweets, my love for baking, um, and then you know, eventually I started to make ice cream because ice cream is just my favorite. This is why it's called honeycomb. Mm -hmm. See that texture? It's like a honeycomb. I still love the R&D process. I still develop all our flavors. Um, so yeah, I am the recipe developer for, for the flavors. <laughs> Texturally, I've always liked ice cream that's super creamy. I like a nice mouthfeel and like that sort of buttery texture. So each production batch is anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 pints per flavor. And, you know, we move that pretty quickly. We get a lot of comments on how the black sesame is like, is out of this world because even if they go to like Korea or Japan, some people say like ours is better, but. <laughs> I definitely uh, took a year to develop the recipe for our toasted rice ice cream. Just reminded me of my mother with all her stacks of nurongji, which is like a Korean scorched rice snack. Without rice in a Korean meal, it's kind of weird. Like, it's like, it's not right. <laughs> yeah, I think the first, first, maybe second question that all of us ask is like, how, how did you, A, how did you come up with this? But B, how did, how did you even make this? Because we're all shocked. Like, how can you make toasted rice? How can you make nurongji so delicious, so tasty? <laughs> It still is one of our top sellers. Yeah, it's, it, is, it is a love letter. You know, every single pint that someone buys, it does make a difference. It makes a difference in terms of like supporting the Asian voice. And those are the things that actually create change. I want to see Nunas like everywhere. I, I want to see Nunas everywhere. And I think that's what drives me every day. Like, I truly believe this is what I was meant to do. Um, and having Asian American flavors is, I think, crucial. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza Deguia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.